hi guys how are you doing i hope you're doing good and today i'm going to show you how to get random points in a hollow circle or a donut uh, shaped um, by that what i mean is if this is your player or character whichever character you want and you want the points to be generated within this area like you want points within this area and not in this area so how to get that i'm going to show you so firstly i'm not going to show you the whole uh walk through and everything i have made it and i'm going to show you how to get that well there are two ways you can get it by eqs or without eqs so i have both firstly i'll show you without eqs okay donut no eqs <laughs> So this is Titanfall player. Well, I'm making something similar to Titanfall. So yes, Titanfall player. Well, this is the player. Okay, the player character that you have, and this code is inside uh, the AI character. All right, but you can add it anyway. So basically, what you want to do is get the character you want the points around. Okay, get its location, then add it to its rotation then get rotation x vector now how to get it is quite simple get rotate oh hold on get actor rotation and when you just do this connect it you already get that okay automatically so split it so when you get that actor rotation just split the struct and also split that struct um, sorry not struct it's not struct split the pins all right split the struct pins here split it and just connect these okay and but for the z axis okay for the yaw add a random floating range 0 to 360 which is basically 0 and 360 degrees okay then you got to multiply it by the inner and the outer radius right now i don't have uh, them converted to a variable but basically this is your inner and this is your outer radius okay you can convert it to promote it to variable if you want so once you have this this is to get the di random direction this is to get distance okay how far away you want in that hollow region uh, hollow circle or donor and this is actor's location so from which actor do you want it to be uh, the donor to be around and then I'm just spawning it you can do whatever you want with this uh, ask your AI to go there or spawn something okay right now so I'll just I have already written some code here for my AI so right now I'll show you that it just gets random points all right in a few seconds yeah as you can see we have random cubes appearing and they are at a distance at a, you see they are at a particular distance within the ring so one drawback of this is that if i am very close to a wall like this okay then there is a possibility that I might have some points inside the wall which is quite not good for AI if you want your AI to go here to the points so for that we'll do EQS so firstly you'll have to create an EQS query okay you can just go in blueprint class and all classes and get EQS Oh, hold on eqs query no what is it environment query yeah you got a um search for n y yeah hold on <laughs> yeah you gotta get this okay and uh, environment query generated blueprint this once you get this 
Yo. Once you have that, just get a EQS testing pawn. You can get it from here. EQS testing pawn. Okay. All you have to do is drag and drop it in here and select it and have your the desired EQS, EQS drop in. All right. So once we have it, for this, we need the player. So I'll just turn off everything for now and get my player character. All right. So now we have our player. And it will show us the EQS if we go here. And well, it should, yeah. So, firstly, what I'm going to do is what you got to do is uh, get to the generators, drag and, and then get a donut. All right. We can't, cannot have two of these. So, I'll just delete this. Oh, fuck. I'll just delete the other one. All right. So, firstly, you gotta input your inner radius, your outer radius. All right. So, if I want it closer, I'll make it five hundred. As you can see, it is closer. If I want the outer radius to be long, I can do two thousand. Sorry, don't mind my um. phone it's nothing with notifications all right then how many rings you want so we add it's three now add five three is enough for me less points that's what i want points per ring i have 16 you can add seven as per you need all right now one more thing i have this u spiral pattern okay if you don't use this it will look like this pretty uniform but i want a spiral pattern as it looks more natural when the ai comes here or else if you don't have it uh it the ai will show the pattern eventually as uh you have if you have many ais uh, coming to coming here then you might see them standing one behind the other so just have it on if you want it's up to you what is your desired uh, outcome all right then you got to add uh, tests first test i have is path path exists basically to check if we have path go here path finding okay now what you are going doing here is filter only test mode path context environment query this one the last one okay yeah one more thing for the whole thing you need context player all right so first i'll show you what context player is context player is basically a blank blueprint class okay blank blueprint just blueprint as you can see blank blueprint what you need here is override provide actor set okay and just get all actors of class and just feed in your player maybe it may it be third person character or first person character or a custom character just add it in okay then for the whole uh, query you gotta add context player but for, for pathfinding you need to add the querier as we are going to take the path from the querier okay then we have trace all right so this trace is to check if the point con being considered can see the player what about that what i mean is if you have your player somewhere here okay and then you have your paths so if i turn it off even these paths will be considered which you don't want as if player gets here and does all that uh, actions uh, not player the ai comes here and does all that actions it will look weird so you gotta have uh, 
them in front of player where they can see player all right and then distance you can leave it here if you want but i want the outer ring only the outer ring so i'll add distance check it all right here we uh, wanted filter and score in path we only want filter okay and for distance to context player we want again context player not the query so we want distance from the player so right now i have minimum and maximum uh, range is of 900 and 1200 so if i want the inner radius also the second ring i'll just go 800 then i'll have the second ring too but i don't want that right now so i'll just get the nine input 900 once you're done with this you can just put it aside come back have a custom event you can you can add these in functions also but i just have them in event as i like to add delay and stuff after in every action i do so delay doesn't really work inside function so yeah we want the query to be self as we want the ai to be the query then just add in your eqs all right then have some delay as it requires some time to gather all the query results so do have have this delay okay and if you follow this uh, correctly then you need um, get query as locations but if you want uh, get query as actors which you can get query oh as actors then you got to do some other stuff all right which i'm not gonna go into but right now we only want the locations so get the locations all right to get the random let's just keep it aside for a while yes okay to get the random location just get the length uh of the locations then have minimum and maximum okay get the ra random point and the just set eqs uh, this is a variable i made right promote this to variable you can just add it here but i'm using it uh, in other cases too so i need this and just do whatever you want with it right now i can show you all the points that can be generated as we add this this and loop body and add this feature all right one thing to notice is uh, this if we keep it to all matching all right let's just delete the player as i have player spawner all right wait for a while oh hold on i didn't add Right now you can see we have apostrophe key and three if I press that. Okay, it's not quite working. Yeah, it's working now. As you can see the query, all right, pathfinding, this is zero, distance zero, zero, they are all blue inside. And we have these green ones. Yeah. And we have spawned a cube at all places. All right but if we want best of 25 or best 5 percent all right that would be better as i like to keep it that way not take every each not consider each and every one of them so as you can see these will be the points that the ai will go to right now they don't but yeah and instead of for loop i can just add it here delete the for loop and now each ai that i have as you can see i have a couple of ais yeah they will spawn their points yeah
I just want to mess up Yeah. Of course. Don't forget to connect your nodes. And yeah, you can just ask your AI to move to that point. So, where would you use this and where would you use this? So, the one without EQS is good when you have to spawn uh, something which is not AI or anything. Uh, for example, if you have a character which does some damage or has some ability that you want, uh, like for example, you want lightning to struck in this hollow ring, this would be good, okay, for your character's ability or anything, whatever you like, or spawn some fireballs or anything. This would be good if um, you want your AI to move to it as uh, this will calculate every point inside that uh, every, like every point in this EQS query okay and do calculations over this uh, well in this it won't do that it will only consider some random points so keep that in mind and yeah I was stuck in this I found some solutions and I just wanted to share it with you if anybody else is stuck so yeah thank you for watching subscribe like share and yeah see you next time if you have any questions comment down below and let me know